episode of Our City Tonight. I am standing street level downtown Vancouver and we're ready for our real estate segment. Jim is high up in one of these high rises downtown Vancouver with Michael Tadori. Jim? Okay, we're uh, many floors above where Alita was uh, on street level and I'm with our real estate expert, uh, Michael Tadori. Michael, we've got a subject that you know, is important, uh, as all your subjects are, but also kind of a sensitive issue because we're going to talk about downsizing today. And I know downsizing is an overused term in uh, our Vancouver and Lower Mainland market, but the facts remain, and you told me this fact, that over 70, uh, most people over 55 of age or older have 70% equity, uh, and most importantly, are mortgage-free. So, why would someone consider moving? Jim, thank you. For, that's an awesome question. I, I get that question a lot. And people don't want to move their homes. Okay. They are more comfortable in their place where they live for 10, 20, 40 years and they have great memories of kids going up there yeah, and, yeah. and the neighborhood uh, they live in for a long time. They know the hairdresser, they know their barber shop, whatever. However, it comes a time when um, the roof stops leaking, uh, the house needs more, more upkeep, upkeep. Um, you cannot rake the leaves, you cannot shovel the snow, yeah, yeah. Uh, you cannot go up the stairs. So those are, that's a time when you start a conversation where do we go from here? What's happening in the next six to uh, one year time? And you're the expert in your experience. What, you've listed a few reasons, but is it the main thing? I mean, kids moving out, uh, you, you know, don't want to go after the yard. I mean, we're in a lovely two bedroom right now that you're looking after. Um, uh, you see more and more people uh, at a certain age going, they're moving to this kind of alternative? Uh, it, it can. Somebody moving from 4,000 square feet, uh, 1,000 square feet condo, might be too small for them, right. but this could be an option where um, you have free um, place, place to yourself where you can walk everywhere. You bring up uh, a sensitive question which we, we must address, of course, is as you get older, of course, your parents get older. Um, I've had friends where, you know, the parents have moved because of stairs and everything like that. When is, when is a good time to have that conversation with elderly parents where, when you can see that maybe the where they're living is not good for their age? Uh, as you get older, we need more assisted living. Um, if you are a child and um, you have to visit your parents twice a week or, or, or more often um, and you have a, a assisted care in the home and if you feel that you need to, to be looked after for longer, for full time, then yeah. it's time to consider whether assisted living and independent living. Um, most people don't want to go to a senior home, however, that might be a best option sometimes. Yeah, yeah I, I've talked to friends who've gone through that where it's, there's the resistance because it, it has such a stigma to it. But right. Uh, so they come to you. Can you talk about some of the services that you could offer or at least where you, uh, you offer and then you perhaps direct them to other services to assist? Certainly. Uh, first, first of all, we just have a conversation to, to learn about what you like, what you don't like. And then we can talk about how is it an option. What, what your, you want to be close to your friends, you want to be close to the grandkids, mm -hmm. do you want to be close to your, where your friends moves perhaps. Uh, different reasons and we can explore from there. Uh, then we can talk about what are some of the uh, legalities of decluttering your home. You live in the same home for 10, 20 years. Right. You have a, your attic might be full, the basement might be packed with stuff. So how do you, what do you do all that? So I have a decluttering company where I introduce them to, to help them with the process. Uh, good point about the decluttering. I was saying to you before we went on camera about just yeah. you've got a basement or an attic full. Um, getting you involved, of course, helps. And, and where can people learn more info on, on everything uh, for downsizing? Your, your help, as I mentioned, but there's a website they can go to? Yeah, you can go to my, my website, michaeltodori.com. Uh, and also I have a separate website specifically for downsizing. It's called VancouverDownsizingSpecialist.com. And they can find out different services where they can have me look after all the aspects of moving or they can use different services which I, I offer. I mentioned there's a lawyer, there's financial, uh, or maybe take care of the pets. So there's lots of small details which, which matter to them. Michael, not just a real estate agent, you are also looking after a lot of other areas. We're glad to have you on our team. Uh, Michael, and downsizing, of course, an important issue that everybody faces at one time or another. Michael Tadori, our real estate expert, and that's this edition of our real estate segment. This edition of Inside Real Estate has been brought to you by Michael Tadori of Remax Select Properties. Find your home, find your story.